Alex was right. There is an urn. Whoa. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. I just went to Simlim, I showed Dennis my camera, he was not pleased. <laughs> what is up you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Tonight, I am just walking on the streets in the town area of Singapore and to kind of show you guys what it's like. Now, I just, yeah, town area. Oh, it's so loud. Now, I just went to Bugis, I went to Simlim, met up with Dennis and now I'm just taking a little stroll and we'll see where we end up most probably at the main spot of Singapore where Marina Bay is I think but let's walk around because if you don't walk around you won't discover anything anything new strange little alley here okay I honestly prefer to walk in alley areas because it's so much quieter <laughs> yes guys in Singapore we can walk in places like this it's fine. It's pretty safe here. Now, I say this is because I know you guys in America, walking in areas like that, it's a no-go. It's a danger. And even in Thailand, you do not want to walk in the small alley like this. In Singapore, if you walk in a small alley like this, you're most probably gonna see lots of uh, old houses. You're not like gonna find drugs or crimes in an alleyway here. Very rarely. Plus, it's like 7 p.m. now, so I think I'm pretty safe. <laughs> it's still daylight. If you look all the way there, that's our CBD area. That's pretty much where we would be heading to. It's so nice to like see the sunlight at the back. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like tonight, we're gonna walk past a few key places, monuments. And coming right up, I'm walking past the Raffles Hotel. Now, the Raffles Hotel is one of the most popular hotels in Singapore. It is known for its colonial style, luxury, and very fancy. Yeah, I would say. Also, what I heard is that if you want a Singapore sling, over here is the best place to get your Singapore sling. That's what I heard. Now, they do have a bar and billet room over here. This place. This is where the bar and billet room is. And can you see that, guys? That's our war memorial. Let's go there. Now, if you guys remember, this is the war memorial Alex was saying when we went to the Discovery Center. He was saying that there are some of the war soldiers' remains are over here. Now, this memorial is located just in the center. Like, Raffles Hotel is over there, and we got SunTech over here, and then, of course, the CBD area is over that side. And we got the Supreme Court over there, which we will probably go over there. But, guys, this is nice. I've seen this structure so many times, but I've never really come here and visit this. 1942 to 1945, this is a war memorial. <sighs> there are like Malay writings over here. That's not English, that's Malay by the way. But yeah, whoa, Alex was right. There is an urn. Whoa. Now, there are like a couple of descriptions around, like there's Chinese, and then there's Tamil, and then this is Malay, and of course here is English. See? Whoa. Memorial to the civilian victims of the Japanese occupation. It's amazing guys, how many times have I walked past this area? How many times have I seen this little structure here, up in the sky? And I've never really come and visit this, till today. So now I know, in the middle of this structure, there is an urn. <laughs> I'm not sure if really there are remains of the war heroes over there, but um, I can confirm that there is an urn in the center, in the middle of that structure. This is what I try to do guys. When I say something, or when we say something on YouTube, we try to look for it and verify it. And that's the reason why I'm here today, is to verify, to make sure that there is an urn there. Well, not to make sure, but to find out for myself. Because I didn't know. And it's cool, guys. 
It's cool to be here. Ah, it's starting to get really dark right now. However, I know that there is a art week where there's light shows around somewhere here. I'm not sure if it's still on or not. Well, if it's on, then of course I'll show it to you. That's also the reason why I'm out here and taking a stroll here today in the city area. Now, as you get to the city area, crossing the road, it's mostly undergrounds. <laughs> I just came under to take the underpass just to go to the opposite side of the road. By the way, I would like to give a little shout out to a new family member, a new Patreon, Clarence. Clarence just recently joined my Patreon and he also wanted me to say hello to Michael, Weeboon, Gabriel and Matthew. Wow. <laughs> I had to remember that. See, no script. Wow, you guys, this is beautiful, man. Look at that. And look, the Supreme Court is over there. And you can see, look, it's lighted up. So the light show is still going on. And of course, St. Andrew Church is there. And just opposite from the Supreme Court, I see a beautiful fountain here. I've never seen this before, guys. Seriously, this is the first for me. And would you believe it, guys? This fountain here is also another national memorial. Crazy. I guess we're heading into the light show. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go, let's be free with me. Not a bad light show at all. <laughs> now I'm here at the Padang. Uh, it's actually an open field where we used to host National Day parades over here in some years. You guys, this looks like another national monument. Let me go find out what it is. Our glorious dead. 1914 to 1918 and they have steps for each year and the thing is on the other side it's from 1939 to 1945 and along this memorial there are names over here so down here it says they died that we might leave ah. this structure here is called the Sinatra now it was built in 1922 for the 120 soldiers that were sent to World War One. Wow! I didn't know that we actually sent soldiers to fight in World War One. You don't come out, you don't learn. And tonight, walking around here at Esplanade Park, I found cool stuff. Not bad, not bad at all. See guys, if you don't come out, you don't walk, you don't discover. You see guys, we come here, we cycle past here countless times. Now, walking is a different story. Walking, you get to see stuff. All right, I got something to tell you guys. Right now, when you watch this clip and I'm walking, I switched on the stabilizer. But let me switch off the stabilizer. All right, now I'm walking without the stabilizer on. And can you see the difference? <laughs> Not bad, isn't it, guys? The vlogging muscles, they are back. Now, nah, I usually keep the stabilizer on because, you know, <laughs> I don't want my footage to be so jumpy and shaky. <laughs> Now there's another monument over there, but of course, today, I think it's on maintenance. Yeah guys, all closed. See, I see it, but can't go in. And look, more lights, wow. Now Art Week is an annual affair. Basically once a year, they'll have this like a whole week of lighting and exhibition around the whole of Singapore. No, not the whole of Singapore, but the city. What am I talking about? Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words
So what it is is that they have these projectors or like kind of like lasers at the back of the building and then this lighting effects will shine on the building and then kind of like tell a story using the building like a backdrop or a projector screen. And this is a perfect example you guys. See the building all lighted up and everybody is just sitting in the park enjoying the show. But there, there is where all the lights are shining towards the building. It's pretty innovative if you ask me. <laughs> I tell you, this is the perfect place to bring a date, sit by the grass and then just enjoy the little show in front of the building. I feel like it's really cool because they put it on our colonial buildings and they painted all our colonial buildings white. <laughs> so why not make use of it, right? Now, of course, they didn't purposely paint the buildings white, but it is so much nicer when it's nice and bright and white. And of course, the monument that we all know, the Sir Stanford Raffles statue facing the Singapore River. I feel like tonight, I'm taking you guys out and showing you around Singapore. The beautiful buildings that lights up at night. Yeah! And of course, the Fullerton Hotel. This is just beautiful. It's because of the uh, Blue Bridge. I feel like it adds to the beautiful contrast with the Blue Bridge and then the Yellow Hotel. If I take a picture of the Fullerton Hotel like that, and then I make a postcard out of it, would you guys buy it? <laughs> That's a silly question. Nobody uses postcard these days. Could you believe it? It's already 9 p.m. <laughs> I've walked so much today and I didn't even realize it. It's amazing and it's surprising that I'm not even the slightest bit tired at all. Someone actually asked me, does it get cold in Singapore? Well, no. No, no, no. I made a video about winter in Singapore. No. It just gets chilling. Like tonight, it's nice and breezy. I'm wearing long sleeve and it's fine. So the Fullerton Hotel is over there. We might go to the one Fullerton facing MBS and then we are heading down under this bridge. Let's go. 7-Eleven. Milk tea. hungry I'm still good but wow <laughs> although I seriously think I need to get something to eat <laughs> oh by the way happy Chinese New Year Gong Si Fa Chai because I saw like red lanterns at the back so better to wish you guys a happy Chinese New Year it's fitting by the time this vlog comes up probably Chinese New Year red lanterns for Chinese New Year I wish everyone who watches my channel a prosperous 2022. And we are here at the Bayfront and there is... Um, okay, let's go check it out. The Art of Dream Singapore. And more art and lights. I don't really want to go there because there are like a couple of people there. So I'm avoiding the crowds. But to be honest with you, I'm not so much of a Porsche guy. Maybe in my younger days. Right now, I prefer big cars like Jeeps. I think as I grow older, cars to me, more of space and power. Not so much of speed anymore. <laughs> ah, anyways guys, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! Gotta go find something to eat now. Hungry, hungry. I'm kidding, I'm not really hungry. But I do have to find something to eat. I need to have my dinner before going home because I know I'll get hungry later in the night. I believe it's two times. Two times in my life, I have a job at the CBD area. And let me tell you, I hated working at the CBD area. For one, during lunch time, it's super crowded. Two, when you're going out to get lunch, there's no such thing as cheap food. Around the area, everything is overpriced. This is pre-COVID time. And plus, the food ain't that great either. Okay, okay, okay. So let's not just talk about food. Let's also talk about transportation. Coming here, Raffles Place, City Hall, pack. 
sometimes you have to wait for two trains to pass before you can enter the train. This is during rush hours. Do you know why I'm still talking and vlogging? <laughs> it's because I want to show off my vlogging muscles. Yes, vlogging muscles. It's a real thing. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye Singapore River. Bye-bye CBD area.